Welcome back fam, it's your girl Angela Denise and I am so happy to be here with you today with a haul. So, you guys know the fall VIB sale is going on, plus I've picked up a few things from Beautylish, Ulta, and I also received a few things in PR. Yes girl, I've gotten things from two different companies that I want to share with you guys. First, I'd like to share with you um, the couple of items that I picked up from Beautylish. So first things first is a toner that I have been eyeing for quite a while now. You guys, if you watch my channel, you know that I love the skincare ingredient niacinamide. So when I seen this niacinamide brightening toner on Beautylish, just good molecules in general, I wanted to try them. So I decided to go ahead and pick this up. Um, and I've been using it, you guys, and I am really, really impressed so far, really impressed. But yeah, this is a four ounce bottle. Only thing that I don't like is it's glass. So it's not really travel friendly. Next up is a new brush that just came out from Sonya G. This is the Designer Pro, and how I'm using it is to uh, either set under the eye or dust away powder or buff underneath the eye, or you could even use it to buff all over the face. It will be more of a tedious task because the brush is smaller. Um, you could use it for a highlighter. This is a brush that you could use however you feel like using. And the hair on this brush is super, super, super soft. Um, I've been using this brush for about two weeks now and I'm absolutely in love. Powder. So this is the By Terry Hyaluronic Tinted Hydro Powder. So, so the Hyaluronic Powder has been out for By Terry for years now, but she recently extended the range to, I don't know, I want to say at least eight shades, which I think that is absolutely amazing. This is the shade 300 Medium Fair. I use this to set under my eyes with my Sonya G brush. So I just pat a little bit um, in the pan and then I pat that under my eyes. I don't use this to bake, I just use this to set up under the eyes. And so far, I'm very impressed. It's a very lightweight powder that does a great job at setting under the eyes. This will be really, really good for people that have a dry under eye or a more mature skin under the eye. Um, it, this is a really good powder and I've been using it for about a week now and I'm really loving it. Okay, next, let's go ahead and talk about what I picked up from Ulta because literally it was just a few things. Okay, so you know Ulta was doing the 20% off sale right before Sephora started, like the week before. So I just picked up a few of my essentials from Ulta. And first up is the Essence Lash Princess. I already love the regular Lash Princess, but this one is the waterproof formula. I am really impressed with this mascara and what, how much did I pay? This was just $4.99 and this is one that um, I wish I tried sooner because it's so cost effective and readily available right over at Ulta. So I had to go ahead and try out the waterproof version of that. Um, another one that I've been loving, I've got a refill of my Mario Badescu chamomile and lavender. So I only get the four ounces because I have a variety of different scents from them. I have the rose. This one is the aloe sage orange blossom. Um, I really like this one in the morning because it leaves the skin feeling really invigorated. But lavender is the one that I love to drench my face in at night. Um, the smell is really soothing and this is something that's really, really hydrating. Now that we're in the fall season, you need to find ways to get as much moisture into the skin as possible. All right, so last from Ulta, I picked up some of the lashes that I'm wearing right now. Um, I picked up a three pack of the Allure Luxe Silk Lashes in Marquise. I've talked to you guys about this before, but I just want to reiterate that these lashes are so bomb. I mean, I have them on my eyes today and it's a for affordable eyelash option that looks really high end and luxe. And so for the three pack, it was $15.99 plus I got the 20% off of that. So um, I love these lashes. Before we dive into what I picked up from Sephora, I know you guys are dying to see. I want to go ahead and show you guys this Lime Crime uh, liquid lipstick that I picked up from Amazon. This is what I have on my lips right now. This is the Wicked Velveteen 
liquid lipstick and I won't swatch it for you guys because you can see it on my lips. Um, I've always wanted to try out Lime Crimes liquid lipstick formula and I'm really glad that I did. This feels really lightweight on, this, uh, on the lips. Um, it's matte, but it doesn't feel drying on my lips, so I want to mention that. And you can pick this up off of Amazon. I will put a link down in the description bar. So, <laughs> Sephora. So, you might be surprised. I did not go ham on the makeup. I picked up things that I needed and mainly fragrance. That's really where I spent my money. So let's get the makeup out of the way first. I went ahead and picked up the Estee Lauder Double Wear. You might be surprised, but I do not have this in my collection. And they expanded their shade range, I want to say earlier this year. And they have over 50 shades now, if not 50 shades. This is the shade. 5N 1.5. I am wearing it on my face right now. I really love the shade match. It's almost an exact match. I don't have to mix it in with anything. I absolutely am loving the way my foundation came out today. You guys comment down below and let me know what you think. But um, I need to get a pump for this, but I'm really glad that I tried this out. I will do a wear test and all that other stuff if you guys request it. So yeah, I had to go ahead and pick up one of these. This is the only foundation that I bought during the sale so far. Cause you know, we still have a uh, shoot, maybe six or seven days left for VIP Rouge to shop. Um, the next thing I picked up was a lipstick. I got a lipstick from Pat McGrath. I got the, uh, this is the matte formula from Pat McGrath and this is called Full Blooded. And you guys know what her packaging looks like. I just wanted to pick up some of her matte formulas because I don't really have very many of them in my collection. And I think this is so pretty. This is like a dark purple color. And this is called Full Blooded. This is what it looks like in the tube. It looks darker in the tube uh, versus what it really swatches like. So yeah, I can't wait to wear this shade because during fall and winter, I pull out all the mattifying, all the liquid lipsticks, all the deep, bold colors. So yeah. So that is literally the only makeup that I purchased this weekend during the sale um, because I just, I have a lot and I don't really need very much. Um, you know, we just went through foundation getting back in August and I'm just gonna be honest with you guys, I wasn't impressed with most of what I tried, but uh, we'll talk about that in another video, okay? Basically what I spent my money on is skincare and fragrance. I'll go ahead and talk about the hair stuff that I picked up. So during the fall, everything on me gets dehydrated and drier than normal, including my hair. So I wanted to try out Briogeo. I've heard so much about Briogeo, so I decided to go ahead and pick up this Don't Repair, Don't Despair Repair hair mask, and you're getting two two ounce tubes, so this will be enough for me to try out the product a couple times before I commit to the large version. Ugh, I'm trying to open it, sorry y'all. So yeah. It's these two tubes, and I'm actually really excited. I've heard so many good things about it. Um, as far as hair is concerned, I do watch the Glam Twins for hair, and this is one that they really do enjoy. So I can't wait to try it out and see um, if it adds next level hydration and manageability to my hair. I am natural. I did get my hair blown out on Thursday, and it's just braided. Um, so yeah, I got another hair mask. This is the... Moroccan Oil Hydrating Mask. This is the Intense Hydrating Mask, and I've heard so much about the Moroccan Oil brand. I did used to go to a salon that used Moroccan Oil, and my mom is also a stylist, and she likes this Moroccan Oil as well. So I decided to go ahead and try out a sample of it and use it once or twice before I commit it to the large one because this is a pretty um, expensive hair mask. Both of them are actually. So I wanted to try them out before I committed to them. So I decided to use the sale to do that. Um, next up is a product that I wanted to try out Ooh, so long. This is the Tatcha The Essence. And I've heard my girl genuinely Genevieve and a few other people that I watch for skincare 
rave about this. So I decided to go ahead and use the sale to try it out. And it's pretty packaging. You know, I like that. And I've, I've never opened this. You guys are getting my first impression. So that was rather nice. So let me wipe the seal. Okay. All right, here she is in all her glory. I popped the seal. I'm sure you guys have seen this on uh, YouTube before, but you're getting 5.1 ounces of product and my skin has been dehydrated and I cannot wait to start incorporating this in my skincare routine. You guys comment down below and let me know if you've tried it before. Fragrances. Two fragrances, both from Chanel. You guys know that I have a thing for Chanel. I'll think Chanel, especially fragrances. So first up, we'll talk about the one that I picked up from my husband. And girl, if you have a man in your life and you want him to have a really, really good signature scent for fall and winter, or just all year round, this is the Chanel, uh, Blue de Chanel. This is the perfume. So there's the Eau de Perfume and Eau de Toilette. This is the Eau de Perfume that just came out this year. And he knows that I was gonna buy him this, but really, I'm unboxing it for him. So, all right, this is Blue de Chanel. It's sexy. It's woody, it's earthy, it's masculine. Oh, girl. Can you tell about my fragrance? So this is described as a warm wood. This is citrus, aromatic, sandalwood, and cedar. And girl, I think this is something that can be worn year round. I don't wanna spray it. I mean, this literally smells intoxicating and the packaging is quite and the packaging is quite lovely as well. Ooh, the top is magnetic. So, yeah. I think that he will enjoy that very, very much. Next up, I got me something. This is the Chanel Chance. I wanted this perfume. I have been bumming samples off of Sephora for at least six months now. So I decided to go ahead and pick it up. This is gonna be my signature fall scent. Um, I do understand that you're probably looking like Angela, we're already like over a month into fall, but in Houston, it's been hot. We recently got our fall weather probably two weeks ago. So I was waiting for the sale to go ahead and pick this up and um, I literally could not wait. I have been wanting this again for over six months and it smells amazing. The lid isn't magnetic like the Blue de Chanel, but I won't write too much about that. All right, so this is described as a warm, floral, warm and spicy, jasmine, pink pepper, and vanilla. And I would definitely have to agree with that. It is a perfect balance of florals and a little bit of spiciness, spiciness that gives it a little bit of an edge. That's one of the reasons why I really like this one. Um, so yeah, I am looking forward to using this one. And this is the Eau de Parfum, just in case you were wondering. So that is all that I picked up from Sephora. This is probably the smallest haul that you guys have seen from me coming from a Sephora 20% off sale. But like I said, I don't really need much. Um, honestly, what I got, I probably didn't need. So I'm just trying to control um, what I'm spending a little bit, but I decided to go ahead and splurge on skincare and fragrance. Those are the things that I am truly, truly, truly passionate about. So, oh my gosh, y'all, I actually did get one more thing from Sephora. Um, this is the Bite Beauty Lip Scrub. Y'all, my lips have been cracked and flaky. You get a very generous product, amount of product in 0.7 ounces. Uh, I don't want to open it, but it does smell kind of like sweet almond-like, and I can't wait to try this out. Currently, I'm using a drugstore 
lip scrub from Tree Hut and it's almost out. So I want to go ahead and give this a try. I've always wanted to try out my lip products. I wanted the lip mask, but I have like three lip masks that are already open. So I decided not to do that. So I forgot about this guy. Um, before we get into the skincare, another thing that I purchased that uh, I haven't mentioned to you guys yet that I've been having for at least a month, no, probably three weeks, but I haven't even tried it yet. I did a couple of swatches, but this is the ColourPop Whatever palette. And when I seen this, I knew that I had to have it. And I think that it's really pretty and I will be doing a tutorial using this palette and some swatches for you guys at a later date. You guys let me know if you have this palette and what your thoughts are. Okay, All of these items have been open and I've already started to use them because literally I've gotten these over a month ago. Good Molecules on Beautylish. That is where they sell their products exclusively and believe it or not, um, I reached out to them and they sent me over some products. First up being their instant cleansing balm. I have used this a couple of times and I do like it. So it just like looks like a dense cold cream, you know, and it does an amazing job at removing the makeup, truly. I don't use it on my eyes because I always, uh, when I am wearing mascara, I use my Lancome uh, Bifacil to remove my makeup or the Sephora one to remove. Um, the makeup so this does a great job at breaking down the face makeup and I highly recommend it this is how many ounces 2.5 ounces so it's not as big as your typical cleansing balm but the price is right and uh, it's affordable option and you can pick it up on Beautylish all right they also sent me over two serums they sent me over a niacinamide serum because they know I love my niacinamide and they also sent me over the overnight exfoliating treatments and this here is the bomb. I think that this would be really good for those who may have a sensitive skin type or they are beginners with exfoliants. This is a great product. It's very gentle. This is a 10% AHA BHA formula. Um, you just apply it on your skin at night before you apply any other serums on your face and your moisturizers. Of course, these are one ounce products. Um, I wanna also mention that the niacinamide serum is a 10% formula. I think niacinamide is a slept on ingredient. I will be doing some more skincare videos that goes into depth uh, about the ingredients that I think that you should be using at a later date, of course. But yeah, these are the two serums that they sent to me and I haven't used the niacinamide as much, but the overnight, exfoliating serum I believe is a really really good steal I don't know I think it's less than it's like ten dollars on Beautylish so so if you're one of those who have tried the ordinary 30% peel and it's a little bit too strong for you or you haven't experimented with um, acids previously this is a really good place to start so you guys comment down below and let me know if you've ever tried good molecules all right, so one more thing from Good Molecules. Well, they sent it over before it launched on the Beautylish website. And this is a product that I was super excited about. This is the Pure Cold Press Rosehip Seed Oil. Um, it's only 0.44 ounces. I'm not sure how much it costs because I, I didn't look it up. But if you watched my video since last year, at the beginning of last year, I use rosehip seed oil in the winter time because again I get drier and drier as the air gets drier um, with less humidity so I was really excited about this I use rosehip seed oil after I do all of my other skincare and I'll put it on my face my neck and my chest and it'll have you looking very illuminated youthful and hydrated so yeah, they did send me over all of these products and I have been using them and I am not disappointed at all with anything that I've uh, received. I'm actually quite impressed. Um, and you know, the niacinamide toner I purchased with my own money and just, let's just say your girl be glowing. Um, but yeah, I plan on getting a little bit more use out of the niacinamide so I can let you guys know what my thoughts are. Okay, the next brand that sent me a package was Clean Skin Club. 
And what intrigued me about Clean Skin Club were their cotton towels. And let me explain. Well, I'll show you guys. This is everything that they sent over. And we'll run through them real quick. They sent over some cotton swabs, which is right on time because I'm literally out. Um, they sent over some coconut oil wipes. So these are pre-soaked makeup removing wipes with coconut oil. So I thought that was a really cool concept. Really enjoyed that. And then I also received some clean wipes. These are just makeup removing, just regular wipes, and they're said to be 40% bigger. And I can attest to that because I did use one already, uh, but they only sent two of those. But I really did like those. I used to, I used those to wipe off swatches off my arm. And next, and I've already started using these as well, and I was truly impressed. These are 100 pieces. This is. These are the clean pads. These are basically cotton pads. And they are very, very, very generous in size. And what I found from using them is, instead of using two cotton pads, one for each eye, this is actually big enough for both eyes. You know, I just kind of use half on one eye and then the other half on the other because they're so big. So yeah, um, I was truly impressed with these. And they didn't, you know, leave cotton pieces all over the face too. So. That was definitely a bonus point for me. And these are, all of the products are made with organic cotton too, by the way. So that's one of the reasons why I was interested in working with this company and super excited to receive their products. Um, I guess, let me show you guys the coconut oil, how they come. They come like this. And I've also used these to uh, remove makeup, like swatches and stuff. I haven't used them on my face yet, but I am truly looking forward to it. Okay, so one of the things that made me really wanna uh, work with this company is because I am learning a lot more about skincare and the do's and the don'ts and the things that break me out. So one of the things that you should think about is reusing your towel. So, I have recently stopped reusing my towel. When I wash my face, I use it one time and that's it. On my body and on my skin because once you hang it back up, I mean, whatever bacteria is on that towel will grow and then you're gonna put that back on your face later that day or the next day. So the other reason why this product was interesting to me was whenever I have on a full face of makeup like I do right now, um, I have some really nice white fluffy towels. I don't want all of that makeup to get impacted into my white towel. So I was looking for a solution. And so I stumbled upon this company and I came across these. These are called, let's see. These are called clean towels. They are 100% biodegradable and they are soft. This box has 50 in them and I have used them uh, a couple of times and this is how big it is. So basically what I'll do is I'll go in with a cleansing balm, work it up, get all of uh, the makeup broken down and then I'll go in with one of these. You can either wet it or you can use it dry and that way I don't have to worry about staining my really good European cotton towels with liquid lipstick. So this is where this came in for me and it has been clutch. Also, if I didn't want to use a towel to wash my face, I could use this to wash my face. And they are very sturdy, they're stretchy, so when you wet them, they don't fall apart. They maintain the integrity and the shape. So I am uh, really impressed. I have looked at a few others, that, but I haven't purchased. But uh, these are, I don't know. I, I'm really impressed by these and I really like the concept. I'm really enjoying the fact that I don't have to really, you know, get my towel really dirty and rinse it out and rinse it and rinse it before I can go in with my actual cleanser because it's caked up with makeup. So yeah, um, I haven't used these cotton swabs yet so I couldn't tell you about these. So I guess I'll open it now and fill it because I usually use my Q-tips. Most likely I'll use these to take off my makeup, 
uh, under the eyes, you know, whenever I wear a lot of eyeshadow. Uh, but yeah, we go through cotton swabs like crazy in this house and these came right on time. Okay, so that is going to wrap it up for today's haul. I do have more skincare that I will be sharing with you guys on another haul video because I have some other uh, non-makeup products that I wanted to share with you guys. But uh, due to just sake of the length of this video, I'm going to make a separate video talking to you guys about uh, some things that I received from Impressions Vanity, uh, the other skincare, and I've got some stuff from Bath & Body Works. So yeah. You guys comment down below um, if you've tried out any of the products that I've mentioned here. I also posted a poll on my channel yesterday that I want you guys to make sure you go and vote because that helps me determine which videos I'll make. So that's really important to me, guys. So if you don't mind, go ahead and go check out the poll on my channel. And until the next time, I will see you later.